Hello again and welcome back to National Poetry Month. Today I'm going to give you a strategy for brainstorming some topics for those moments when someone says write a story and your whole mind goes blank. So here's the strategy. This is called the I Remember Strategy and it can develop into essays or poems um, any type of writing where you want to be creative and you've got to have some great ideas. So what we're going to do is we're first going to um, gather a timer, your journal, and your pen and write I remember with an ellipsis, which is three dots, um, at the end of, the, of the, those two words. You're going to come up with as many sentences in two minutes as you can to complete I remember. And so no matter what happens, you keep looking at your paper you don't take your eyes off of your paper and your pen has to keep moving for two whole minutes and then we'll repeat the process after we choose one memory so I'm going to pretend right now that two minutes have elapsed and that I've completed the I remember strategy and I set my timer to the side and these are the memories that came out in in two minutes okay Crazy things come into your mind when you're under pressure. I remember playing matchbox cars with Ken. Ken is my brother. I remember going to see Les Miserables. I remember when I fell off the horse and broke my arm. I remember going to the beach in Florida. I remember that time you got mad about eating squid. I remember when we got engaged. So what you would do here is you look at all of these ideas that you have to develop and select one and circle it. You can go ahead and circle when we got engaged. Now to drill down, what I'll do is I'll set my timer for two more minutes and write everything I can remember about getting engaged. So now I'm gonna share with you an excerpt of a poem that I wrote using the I Remember strategy. And as you can see, what I've done is I've taken I Remember and used it, I've used it as a repeating line throughout the excerpt and here it is. I remember the Valentine's date to see Gordon Lightfoot in concert, finding a smashed trinket ring in the parking lot, probably a Cracker Jack surprise, tucking it in my pocket, humming rainy day people all the way home. I remember our memorable walks in the Griffin City Park, but none more so than the day you left the swing and got down on one knee and reached in your pocket and proposed with the Cracker Jack ring that you'd resurrected with pliers. I remember your royal blue shirt and your jeans and the love in your eyes and the matching royal blue car speeding by, a teenage boy fist pumping cheers out the window as he watched you propose and answering yes, even before you said, I want us to choose a better ring together. So take this time today, use your timer, generate those memories, and come up with some beautiful poetry of memories that you can preserve forever. Have a great time doing this, and I'll see you tomorrow.